at my mom and dad, I do think that there's a risk tolerance that I, I, I receive from them. Both of them in very different ways have a fairly high risk tolerance and I'm, um, I'm pretty convinced that that's a necessary component of it being is. an entrepreneur. No, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, and, and not just for the initial risk, the initial you know, jumping off the springboard, but it's also that when things are going poorly and it's getting tough, you had that grit, which Google found from their data analysis was one of the most um, prescient qualities in a successful entrepreneur was simply the perseverance to move through it. And I think uh, risk tolerance is needed for that. So I do, I definitely uh, give a lot of credit to my parents, but I think there's another element, which is that <laughs> if I can be really honest, the movie, The Social Network was a huge influence. Really? Uh, yeah, it feels like a cliche to name Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, as one of my uh, inspirations for becoming an entrepreneur. But the truth is that I was building, you know, I was building my first business, but it was not a tech company. It was a, a, a educational conference, um, psycho psychology business. And I went uh, in New York when I was much younger, early 20s. I went to watch that movie. And I remember coming home, we watched, uh, my, my ex-girlfriend and I watched the movie around 8 p.m., got home, she passed out, and I literally stayed up all night just inspired. I was completely buzzing with this, this sense of ambition in realizing that the technology companies we uh, have had come to know, the technology platforms we use, like Facebook and Microsoft and Apple and all the others, uh, many of the others, they're not, cre you know, previously I thought those were created by some power, higher power that, right. you know, whether it's sort of it's some, <laughs> some huge corporate machine that had, had yeah. given us these platforms and you realize that it's actually young, uh, ambitious kids with various other qualities that are just sitting in their garages or their attics kind of figuring it out. And that uh, paradigm shift was an epiphany for me. And, that, and, and I realized if they can do it, I can do it. And that was the moment I, I really sensed that, you know, like I said, through buildings or other types of businesses, I might be able to impact a few thousand people, but through technology, I could impact millions of people. And that's I all that, that I needed.